Now you may remember that we brought you the story of a 1930 cinema organ that had been restored and installed at the Titchfield Festival Theatre. Well, this week sees their first production to use this marvellous instrument and is one of the most ambitious that the company has ever performed. I visited the theatre to witness the quest for the Holy Grail. The Titchfield Festival Theatre has undergone major renovations, including the installation of a 1930 cinema organ. And for their first production using this musical marvel, they transformed the theatre into Camelot, even if it was only a model. This being with obviously the updated theatre and all the other equipment we've got in and whatnot, and given it its uh, revamp, so to speak, it has definitely been the biggest production I think this theatre has ever put on at this point. We're normally with the TFT production, we rehearse three to four months. This one has been eight slash six months. In the story, Patsy is King Arthur's servant and basically just follows him around everywhere. Like, even though when King Arthur says, I've got nobody around me, I'm all alone, I am there. Some things in life are bad, they can really make you mad. Other things just make you swim and I will admit I am very thankful for this part because of that and it's been such an adrenaline filled role and I've loved it. Well, no, I didn't audition for it, I was, I was approached and when I, heard, when, I, when I heard about it... When I, when I was asked, I said, I just cannot turn this down. Being a Python fan, you, you've got to take it on, you know, it's great. I think we, we all struggled with various parts, you know, there's obviously some parts of dialogue that run easier than others, but uh, all in all, everybody slotted in great. We behaved ourselves sometimes, didn't we, Rob? Occasionally? Yeah. And obviously all the awesome people that I'm performing with. Um, and it's just really good fun. Really, really good fun. I hope for the audience as well, but it's really good fun for the cast as well. The cast are not only passionate about their roles, but for the theatre itself, and agree that the sound from the organ adds to the magic of the show. Oh, it does, especially when they wheel it on just at the end. Well, we had a person in the nude suit playing it last night, but it's beautiful to hear the real Monty Python tune on a full, fun full functioning Compton organ. <laughs> no sound like it. So this is a growing theatre, there's a, a thriving youth theatre with, um, with Titchfield and you know just come along and support it and uh, it will just grow and grow and grow. There's great investment going on here in this area. It's adapted from a Monty Python film there's a mixture of familiar jokes and a few new scenes to keep audiences laughing all the way through. The, the Lancelot scene is a standout yeah. scene. Isn't it? Don't, don't turn around, please. <laughs> but uh, that, that is, that's worth a ticket on its own, I think. So His butt does steal the show. Yes, we've all come to terms with that, and that's fine. This is Titchfield. Yes, Titchfield. Tick, tick, Titchfield. And so, yeah, of course, you've got to, you've got to turn it towards the people here. It's great. And so, when King Arthur and his knights hang up their armour, what will be next for the cast? Uh, we're, we're doing hairspray next year. So, um, as, and hopefully, uh, well, I'm going for it, and hopefully a lot of these guys are as well. Yeah. So, yeah, and, uh, but we've also got the studio upstairs that are doing loads of different things, and obviously Shakespeare up at the barn. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's all go. Um, I hope I don't get murdered by the killer bunny. <laughs> Come to enjoy the show, and I hope you all had a great time. Come Please again. The <laughs> well done, everybody. <laughs> this is Richard Stringer for... That